a warning to future builders. <laughs> uh, that don't match that. Oh, I got a spot there to fix. Um, <laughs> so this morning I unwrapped the fretboard. Yeah, this morning I unwrapped the fretboard. What I should have done was taped up to the actual fingerboard. But no, what I did was I covered the binding. Now I have to yellow the binding. There is a month's worth of true oil on here. So I got some ambered shellac that I'm going to hope we'll cover that. We will have to see. Let's hope this comes out. We're gonna do a test with some shellac, pretty dark stuff. I've never used it before, so <laughs> hopefully I get the result that I want. Oh my goodness, this will be perfect. Be super duper 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 careful. I did get a little bit on the last print there, but I have some new, uh, where'd I put them? I bought some new micro mesh. I bought some new micro mesh things to uh, help with that, so. Just a little blot on, throw this away. And it's not too bad either. Now I'm starting on the fretwork. I have various tools here that I'm going to use. Radius block, 12 inch. My uh, straight edge, I have a leveling beam, another uh, checking tool. I love this little tool here from Fret Guru. This has been an awesome little investment. I have various uh, micro mesh films here couple different files that I may use. Uh, this was actually, we don't need this. This is for fixing the nut slot. And then my fret erasers. So between everything that I have here and another straight edge that's hanging up, we should come up with a pretty nice fretboard. <laughs>
Today is a day I've been looking forward to for quite a while. I finally get to install some hardware into this guitar. Right now I'm going to work on the headstock, getting the tuning pegs installed. Then I need to work on the wiring so I can get the bridge installed, because I need to have that ground post in there. So I can put at least two strings on, so I can get the nut installed. And then I can finish it up. So, here we go. I'm so excited. Tuning machines are now installed. Everything's lined up perfectly. Now I need to work on, I'm gonna remove the guitar from the bench, work on putting the wiring together so I can get it into the body because I need to ground this post here so I can run strings or so I can put everything in so I can run strings to install my nut. And since when I received my last shipment from Stumac, they were kind enough to give me this uh, template box. Uh -huh. I'm going to use it to set up my wiring. Now I've got the finished product. Ready to go in the guitar. I'm gonna clean up my workbench, put the guitar back up here and get ready to press in the bushings. Moving right along, now I'm going to install these pins. Bridge is almost complete. An interesting setup. It's an XGP, XGP curved guitar bridge, and then the XGP, or yeah, it's not piece, and the uh, XGP bridge. Now I can put two strings on it to line up the pickups and the nut. Oh. What a project this has been. The good news is she's this far. The bad news is I don't have the correct Allen key to adjust the intonation with these little adjustments here, so I can't finish tonight. The only thing I can do right now is get this nut glued in place. So I'm going to clean up my work area, move the guitar so I have easier access to the head and the nut, get that glued, let it sit overnight, and tomorrow I'll come in and get her completed. I just wanted to play it tonight. I'm so upset, <laughs> but hey, stuff happens. <laughs>